Hello, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can use Kaku to complete your assignment uh, for Thursday. So we started off with Kaku yesterday in class and we created this great outline and we have images associated with each, with each of the different uh, types of epithelial tissues such as simple squamous, simple cuboidal, simple columnar, stratified squamous, pseudostratified columnar, and transitional epithelial tissue. Then there are images next to each one of these and there's a little link here that will take us to the larger image. You are going to do something similar to this on your own page. So if we look down here, we're on the main page, tissues and epithelial tissues. And now we're going to come over here and you can see we have the simple squamous epithelium, simple cuboidal, simple columnar, pseudostratified columnar, stratified transitional. I assigned each one of you to one of these pages and in fact one of these I assigned to two people. I hope you remember which page that you had. At any rate, I want to show you how you can add the images uh, to your page. So I'm going to come over here to the simple squamous epithelium. First up here you can uh, read the directions. Um, you need to find five images. Um, for the team that has two people, you should find ten images. Find ten images. We are going to provide our MLA citations for each of these images and then we will link out to the original video. So uh, this is how you're going to actually do this. First of all, what you will do is you will uh, go out and you're going to um, you're going to find an image. So for example, let's come over here and let's say you have a simple squamous and we can probably just, there it comes up, simple squamous epithelium. Now we can take a look at the images for simple squamous epithelium. I did not find many in Creative Commons, so what we're going to do is uh, cite our sources and link to the original image, make um, link to that original image. So we can view simple squamous, uh, the simple squamous type of uh, epithelium. We can view this in a number of different ways. We can view it in a cross in a uh, cross section um, or um, basically in a horizontal direction. So let's just look here for a good picture and this is what exactly what you will do. Look for a good image. Here is, um, this is an image that I actually used on the previous um, on the previous Kaku layer and we're going to choose this one. So you just click on it. Okay, now you're going to toggle back over to where you have your Kaku Web 2.0 tool and up here where you see the little picture icon you're going to come here and you're going to say take a screenshot. Now it will say it's going to be ready to capture. Toggle back over to where you have your picture, orient the gray box over the image and then press capture come back over to Kaku and again I'm working in two different browsers and you'll probably want to work in two different browsers as well here's our image I can make it smaller I can drag it and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to link it to the original I'm just going to get rid of those dialog boxes I'm going to link this to the original image to link this to the original image, I'm going to go to the little eye up here. This is called the inspector. I'm going to come to the link. I'm going to say enable and open URL and I'm going to en enter in the URL where the original picture is at. This is important. So when you come back over here and find the image, you need to go to find the original full size image. So click on that and this is the URL. You will copy it. 
then you will come back over and you can just enter in that URL right here right in this box and you are set now when we hover over this image you can see that it's actually linked so when you click on it we go to the original image now as I said you need to provide some other information you need to provide this information you need to provide some information uh, regarding the organ that this came out of. We'll say organ location. You also need to add the citation and that's an MLA format. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger I'm going to highlight these and make it a little bit bigger. So you will do this for all five of the images for each of these different, for your specific type of epithelial tissue. I hope that this makes sense and um, you are easily able to complete this assignment by watching this video. If you have any questions, shoot me an email. Uh, this should be completed prior to the lab tomorrow morning. Thank you.